guys, this is Isabel from Autism Untouched. I have really been so busy lately. Matthew's been home for about a month and a half. And I've been taking him out places and trying new things with him. And in New Zealand, it's not really, it's frowned upon when you take videos in public places. It's, it's not as common as in the US. So I try and not do it too often, but I'll, I'll do my best to keep on like I've done with Matthew at school and in all situations, trying to make your, you know, make videos for you so that you can see how he reacts in public places and, you know, in general. Now, the, the question just came up in, in my mind this afternoon, actually, about is autism really that hard and I, I really had to think about it because if I have to be honest um, if we have to be honest as parents of autistic kids and even as autistic individuals adults teenagers and kids about if autism is hard I think if we have to be honest with each other you have to admit that it's not your child that's that's making life hard but rather the way people respond to them in public places like Matthew, he, he's been, in the past, uh, I would say two days, he's been really wanting his play area to be completely perfect. He wanted, you know, his toys is all packed away. Everything must be clean. And that is just how he is. And he can't, he can't help for the way he is. But I understand that. So it doesn't stress me out. But if I, if I, if I recall... And this is what I want to tell you is that when people give you whether it's professionals or give you feedback about your child in general that seems you know weird to them or wrong it is better for you guys not to take it too seriously I'm, I've been clear I've told myself this year 2020 Matthew's 8 years old and I'm not going to keep on taking everything to heart that everybody tells me because the fact is it's a journey for for me and him and it's really and, and, and his dad when his dad is um home and or we go places it really is nothing that anybody else is dealing with and this year i want i want to this is the question that i want to answer for you in my opinion and you can put your comments below is autism really that hard or are we sometimes allowing other people to make it hard for us it's it's like me and my husband actually discussed it this morning about you know friends and relatives how various people have reacted towards matthew being autistic and we want him to know that we accept him the way he is and if other people don't accept him well that's what i want to tell you it, it's not your child's fault that his brain works the way it does and it doesn't mean it's all bad like for instance when me and when me and and his dad started out we got matthew's diagnosis some of the family said things like oh you know it's not that bad you can just you've just got to educate yourself and it can change it can you know you've just you've got to get all the information you can and and to help him to get to become better and to be helping to understand him and what they actually meant was you know we can fix this and me and you we we all know that there's no fixing this it is a way their brain thinks it, it does not mean they are less competent in achieving results but yeah like this is the example i want to give you for instance last year at school like you can see matthew likes everything neat and tidy his lego in one place he does play with his toys but he also likes he doesn't like um chaos and i had to i had to adapt to him because i wasn't a very organized person before i had matthew uh, i was always very busy i used to help my husband with his business and i had to learn to learn how matthew thinks as well and how he likes what, what makes him feel secure and that made my life much easier because when when like i said when last year i remember a teachers a few times they told me and i started stressing out about it they told me oh you know matthew wants to tidy up and help pack up um earlier during the day when they start showing signs of 
today coming to end. He wants to be the one that tidies up, that sweeps, and he does the same thing at home. Nobody has taught him that. It's just something he has in him. He likes things being in order, and that is who he is. It doesn't make, and, and that's what I'm, what I'm saying to you guys. I thought about it, and this morning watching him, wanting everything tidy. It's I used to get upset when he wants everything perfect because I was thinking of the way the teachers were saying it's you know it's not normal to want everything um, tidy up by the end of the day like everybody oh, must take you did a great job there buddy fruit. High, high five Where's the fruit? are you looking for the broom blue broom it's um it's outside it's outside so yeah so some things that people are seeing as weird or they don't want to accept is it's those things that we should not um be upset about that's what i want to talk to you guys about he's left now but yeah um i wanted to tell you guys that it doesn't mean if other people get upset with the things your child does that there's something wrong with your child i mean i'm not talking about completely destructive behavior and you know things that are really out of control i'm talking about i want you to think things that your child is doing whether it is just something that's important to them and part of their character and it's really nothing to to get upset about because i'll be honest with you since i had my change of mind and i decided to work with matthew and accept him for who he is and just allow him to be himself I realized that my stress and my being upset with him wasn't really him. It had nothing to do with him. It was all about other people being getting upset about the way they thought he should be acting and should be doing things. And if I look at his toy area now, I thought, you know what, this is awesome. He does draw and he does paint and he likes playing. But there's certain times that he just wants everything tidy. And that's not a bad thing and there's certain times like people like i said family used to get upset with him for touching the the like touching their child or trying to give them a hug and they don't want to hug and you know what a lot of i'll be honest with you some of our family are no longer they're no longer visiting us because of matthew's behavior but i realize there's nothing wrong with matthew matthew is affectionate he's loving he's kind hi matthew you found some chocolate milkshake? Oh, that's awesome. Do you need some help with it? <laughs> go, you know what? Go get, let's go get the straw. <laughs> no. Go get the straw for me. The, the straw? No. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you which one. I've started buying some straws. I want Matthew to get used to it. This kitchen is in a mess, but yeah. These, um, these straws that are not plastic so what we try and do is um i keep the plastic straws for spares no. you don't want that one this one works really well you want to put that in yourself let's give it a go or you can use this one no bear no okay sometimes he uses it today he wants to open his own drink but yeah you can you can see things small little things that it doesn't mean if your child um does certain things a certain way if it upsets other people, sometimes you've just got to think, you know what, it's tough. It's it's tough for them. It's You don't have to be, thank you for that, Matthew. But yeah, as long as your child is happy and they are making progress. He's going inside now to have his drink in peace. But yeah, as long as they are happy and making progress. And you are feeling happy about the things they are doing not no dis destructive behavior or self-harm it's so easy for parents of autistic kids to go about and show all the negative things about autism but I'm, I'm asking you to think again is it really autism that is so bad or have you got friends and family in your life that refuse to accept your child for who they are and are refusing to see the effort that you are making to help them um live a more productive more satisfying life because there is certain aspects in autism we know that can be hard and that can be difficult
for them to handle life situations. But we don't need people in our life, that's what I'm saying, who makes autism hard, harder than what it is. Family, friends, it doesn't matter. Teachers, doctors, those are professionals, those are support people, and even family and friends that are supposed to support you in what you're doing with your child, that are supposed to help you, not pass down judgment and tell you how you could be doing a better job. This is the year 220 that we're going to show the world out there. I'm, I'm really having faith and I believe that Matthew will also show us that autism does not have to be hard. It can be a learning journey like the one that every child has, whether they are neurotypical or autistic. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys next time.